Hola, me llamo Julie, soy belga. Quiero estudiar español porque me encanta la lengua y la cultura de España y latino. Uh, I have studied uh, Spanish for four years, but inconsistently, so I have lost a lot of knowledge about uh, speaking Spanish. Uh, Relearning Spanish has made me feel really great, actually. I remembered how much I loved uh, listening, the tone, uh, the sound of it, and also comparing it to uh, French, which is my native language. And um, so I have been twice in Spain. Uh, I uh, in Barcelona and that was five years ago and ever since I've always been wanting to go back to Spain but I haven't gotten the chance so uh, instead of an internship I would like to take a gap year um, after my bachelor's so after the HBO program uh, and uh, go to a Spanish-speaking country for a few months uh, to learn uh, and practice Spanish better uh, so learning Spanish, of course, in advance will give me a good base to be able to actually, you know, practice and having a conversation in Spain. Uh, and of course, uh, in my uh, uh, most awesome dreams, uh, I would love to have a summer house in Spain uh, because I love the I love how it looks. I love summer house. Uh, I love Spanish summer houses. Um, Learner Spanish, uh, learning Spanish is also a great addition for my future job because I would like to work in the environmental sector uh, of development, but not in the NGO perspective, but more in the business perspective. And having uh, Spanish as an extra language would help me get partners in South America or Spain uh, if I want to work with them. Um, I uh, Some of the challenges would be uh, cons consistency and uh, being able to practice Spanish, of course, uh, and uh, for that, I would love to uh, try to uh, implement one uh, hour and 30 minutes uh, a day, uh, mostly by practicing, of course, what I've learned during class and Duolingo and movies and listening to music because I do like Spanish music. I love dance, so they usually have good rhythms. <laughs> Um, and I do have high expectations for um, Spanish and also all the actual all the languages because uh, during those past few weeks we had uh, you know taster uh, sessions and all the teachers were very motivating and encouraging to uh, they you could see that they really wanted to teach their language which uh, made me also want to learn of course a new language. Good evening, good evening. Um, so I wish to uh, have German as my second language because I wish to stay in Europe in the future for my job situations and my um, uh, living situations. And uh, I wish to also work with startups for sustainable development, helping them uh, grow as a business in the future. And I heard a lot of uh, good uh, news and information about Berlin and Germany, uh, how they are good for innovations and startups. And they do have a lot of brands already uh, for cars and a lot of different things. Um, and I already speak French, English, and I am learning Dutch as I also have a Dutch boyfriend. And I will definitely learn Spanish at one point. So German would just be the best addition to my European language collection. Um, and this would also set me up for the business world, of course. Uh, I wish to visit Berlin in this summer, actually, and I believe it won't be the last time because uh, I've heard also a lot of good news about um, going there as a, a holiday, but also uh, living situations. Um, I think it's a thrilling city as well, Berlin. Uh, they're very creative, loads of freedom to create and explore uh, sides of yourself as well. And I've heard really crazy stories like uh, the clubs uh, because they are very strict, for example, and uh, the aesthetic, how you're going to what you're going to wear and whether you match the aesthetic or not, you will be refused to the club or not. So I think that's a very crazy ideas that are really cool uh, being dressing all in black and things like that. So but it's really more about the vibe that you're going to give. Um, 
So for German, I will learn uh, probably 45 to 90 minutes per day to practice and learn the language. And mainly the challenges that I have is pronunciation and grammar, because I do think it's a bit hard for me. Um, although Dutch is uh, partly similar to German, but it's not quite. So I really hope uh, to be chosen for Spanish and then or German. Thank you.